What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. Today, we're going to do a real 3D animated text, and this is um, a diamond text uh, session where I not only do the diamond effect, but we also utilize After Effects 3D, and we also animate the text. I mean, we got a lot of madness going on in this one. So y'all buckle your seatbelts, man, and get it get it ready. And also, if you want, want your hands on the assets, make sure you click the link below. I got the assets for sale, and um, I'll give you the assets to this session for free. But if you want access to all my other little uh, toys and tricks and slicks and things like that, <laughs> <laughs> click on the link below also i'm going to include some free tutorials some free premium tutorials along with that purchase so without further ado let's go ahead and move on to the session all right family lumbicans without further ado let's go ahead and get it cracking so the first thing we're going to do is look at the original and what i'm going to do is walk you through step by step how we ended up here instead of trying to create it from scratch because i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna remember every single thing i did because I spent a couple of hours doing this. But I'm going to try to teach it to y'all in 15, 25 minutes. So quit playing, y'all. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and get this session started, fam. First thing we're going to do is grab this diamond plate here. And you guys should have access to this. I know all my students do. Um, if not, you can just ask me about it. And the, well, I actually, I, I'll set up a link so you guys can go ahead and uh, download that. So we're going to rotate that and then we're going to go ahead and scale it. So let's hit S and then we can scale her up like so. What we're going to do to make this bling fam is we're going to drag and drop this star particle or this glitter particle. Here, let's hit scale and blow that up as well. Scale, blow that up as well. And uh, we're going to hit uh, normal, then um, linear dodge. And actually here, let's blow this up a little more. See that? So our particle size can be a little bigger. And then if we play back, you can see the little glitz and glam. And then we got one more here. I know y'all like, why your voice keep going away, T? Cause man, I can't see no more. All right, let's do the same with that. Let's hit scale. Scale that puppy up. And then we're going to go ahead and put that into linear dodge as well. So we got two different versions of Sparkal. So now let's create another comp, a new comp, and we'll keep it at 4K. I don't really care. Hit OK. And uh, let's go ahead and create a text. This text is going to say Blil's name. Blink. And um, I want to say something real quick about picking certain text. Um, what you want to do is when you pick your font fam, make sure you got something like with some curves, some straight lines, edges, but also with some curves so that we can see the bevel. I mean, we can see the shine. You know what I'm talking about after I um, apply the effect. So now let's go ahead and get the solid. That's going to be the element 3D layer. So let's go ahead and select element 3D. And um, we're going to put some textures in there. But before we do that, let's get this other texture color and drop that down there so we got the th this is the bling texture this is actually a lighting texture this is actually additional we don't really need that light in there for the effect but since you guys seen it in the preview i'm gonna add it in there to show you how i put that together but really i just added that to add more emphasis to the diamond bling effect and um let's go ahead and grab comp 2. we know that animated comp 2 is where we got the the actual bling now there are inside of the, the timeline but we don't need to see them so let's cut that off let's cut that off let's also cut off t bling and let's go back to our element 3d and what we're going to do pay attention to this we're going to go to custom layers for the text we're going to select path layer one for bling that's our text this is what we're going to convert to 3d then we're going to go to our custom text map texture maps and we're going to select the diamond animated layer and also the tr uh, texture color layer. Now, that's the, these are two videos that we're going to actually add in there as a texture. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit uh, scene setup. We're going to go ahead and hit extrude. And now we got our first 
uh, now font up. And what we're going to do is to do that effect, the textures have to go on a layer, you know, the entire layer. I can actually break this down and we can do a bevel and we can go in here and click one, create one of these here. Oh, sorry about that. We can create one of those and I can kind of just use those, but the effect is not going to work right. It's best to just do separate layers. So let's start this over, extrude, and just make copies. So control D, control D, control D. And then we will move and groove about and we'll do some things with that. So let, that's there, that layer, and then we'll back this up. Okay, so for layer one, now we're gonna do, do some adjustments, but for layer one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to scene materials, right click, create a new material, so we can control everything that's going on in it. Then we're going to go to none, set, diffuse, textures, diffuse, hit that. And then we're gonna go here. We're not gonna load a texture. We're gonna hit this down arrow and we're gonna pick the texture that we already created. And right here is the comp two. This is where, this is where the diamond text is. So the few things that we wanna do here is uh, make sure that that's at um, four and this should be set to nine here and the brightness can be at six and uh, saturation at 20 or 21. All right, now um, you'll notice that nothing shows up here. Well, that's because I got some type of glitch or some type of error in it that's not displaying right. Maybe I need to clear my cache or something is going on where it's not um, previewing, but yours should preview. So we hit okay and we hit okay here. And bam, you see nothing. You know why? Because I forgot to add the effect. <laughs> Sorry about that. So um, after we set up the default here, we have to apply the material. Now is it okay? Okay, boom. So we got the material going on. And um, let me make a camera because we're going to be using this later on. But I can navigate a little bit. So if I hit okay, I now have a camera. And if I hit C, we can kind of move around a little bit. Hit C again, we can zoom in. Hit C again, we can pan, things like that. Okay, so um, we're a little bit there, but there's a few things that we need to do as we see that the resolution is kind of big. So let's go back in there and let's shrink this texture down to a small size. So let's go back to the effect and we we'll go to, um, actually here, let's go here and let's select this and let's turn this up to like, 2.5 2.5 over there and 2.5 here and if we hit okay that's much better okay that's looking good and if we hit the render we can see that little spiral snarkle going on okay so now let's go ahead and continue out we go back to scene setup and um, let's work on the second extrusion um, let's cut these ones off so we can kind of just focus and let's extrude this a little bit. Let's do that by going down, selecting the bevel and extruding it a little bit, making it a little bit bigger. And we'll slide it in place there. And I'm a, uh, let's go ahead and put um, something on it, like something shiny. And then let's go ahead and um, add the texture to it, the color texture. Say, okay, so we got a crack in there and let's go to illumination and select the texture color as well. And let's turn the brightness up to let's say 60. And let's add the illumination. Let's go to the illumination tab and we'll add this to 100%. And as we hit okay, you see that we have the texture going on. All right, so it's a few more things that we need to do here. Uh, we're gonna shrink the uh, texture there, but if we play it, we see that both animations is working. The backlight working and the bling is working in there. So let's double back and do some minor tweaks. Let's um, take this shiny. Actually, let's take that extrusion, hit that of course. And um, let's see if three works for that. It may be too much, but um, I'm gonna see. Okay, um, I think that's actually, that's cool. Okay, let's play around with a few more elements. Okay, so a few more things we wanna do um, 
to this this um this texture here you want to make sure that let's make sure that, okay that's the light one uh, we want to go to shiny and you want to go down to advanced blend mode and set up your normal to screen and that'll make it transparent as you can see here i wish you guys could see the real deal but anyway we'll figure it out um and then once that's done let's go ahead and um activate these other elements here so this is the third row as you see here and we're just going to just slap a just slap, you know what let's slap a gold on there and um same thing with this here this model now this is going to be we're going to use this as an extrude i mean as <laughs> not an extrude but you know what i'm saying no you don't know what i'm saying actually so t how's the gold texture showing but the other stuff i don't know man i, I have no idea but anyway it's showing but um there's a few tweaks we want to do with this first let's select this let's expand it right so let's go to the extrusion section here let's um let's extrude it and then let's expand it and then let's go here to bevel outline and enable the outline so we can see that our diamonds is encased around gold because that's how diamonds look don't they okay i'm gonna poke it out a little bit and we can push it back and um maybe we can shrink it here now oh actually no we want to enlarge it make it a little thick cool and so i think we are set here let's see here um let's do this y'all let's uh, right click and make sure that our reflection okay that's on spherical you want to make sure that it's on spherical um this one here i think we're gonna leave that let's see reflect mode on uh, spherical sometime it of sometimes the spherical affects the the other layers yeah i'm not gonna put spherical on that let's leave that a default and then let's get back at this gold here and um make some adjustments here Look like that should be brought back a little bit. Right, just small little subtle things. So let's take it a step further by duplicating a model. And let's go down here. And um, let's select that. And let's make another extrusion. And shrink this a little bit. Just so we can add some layers and dimension. Uh, let's see here. Maybe move it up a little bit. Mm, leave everything as is. Let's see the buffer size. Let's shrink it down. You know what I mean? Let's drag this uh, chrome to the gold so we can have a gold and a chrome. Cool. I think that's popping. Let's take a look at how it looks. Okay excellent okay it's looking beautiful y'all looking beautiful okay let's really add some drama to this pop back on this page here and add the plane we need a background on here so we're going to use this to stretch it out this way hold shift so you can get a lot of space and click hold shift so you can get a lot of space that way then we're going to use the rotation to hold shift click click or pull it down and then let's bag it up bag bag it up boom now um i'm gonna kind of bring it in a little bit kind of like overstepping the bevel a little bit and we want to right click and go to reflect mode and hit mirror surface cool so now we got a mirror reflection now let's just take one of these little black metals little bumpy little metals and add it to it cool and what i'm gonna do is shrink the metals a little bit so i'm gonna go to the um UV mapping and I'm going to make it six, six or seven better. Okay. That's much better. We see a nice little reflection. Is it okay? Okay. But anyway, back to the lab here. Um, if we look around here, we see we got a little something tangible going on. So, um, so this is my 3D text here, y'all. Now y'all gonna think I'm bugging. I'm telling you. 
Y'all gonna really think I'm bugging? Cause I know y'all probably hear flies right now. It's bugging me, so I know it's gonna bug y'all. But this is where the bug come in at. <laughs> this tutorial is too long for me to show y'all the animated version of it. So you gotta move on to the next tutorial so I can show you how to set up your camera, set up your Boku, and set up your animation. Thank you for watching. I made y'all watch it all the way to the end. Gotcha. All right. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub, like, and hit that bell. So you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my lead. Till the next time. See you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Peace.